when I say I am so happy to meet my favorite person in the industry, I've known you for what now two decades. Yeah, it's been nearly two decades. Changed. And you haven't changed Thank at all. You You're just. Thank you. I'm very happy to see you, Pooja. Seriously, genuinely very happy to see you. You are one of my most favorite people who interviews me, and I'm really, really happy to see you. And you know, whenever I need good vibes, you are the go-to person. And you know, I was just going through your Instagram this last one year, and I came across a James Dean quote that said, "My purpose in life does not include a hankering to charm society," which is so you, and that's what you came to mind. So, mm -hmm. how does John Abraham keep that balance, which is not easy for people in your industry? Yeah, I just think uh, I I just keep reminding myself where I came from and Pooja where I started from and uh, that's it. I just keep my feet on the ground and it feels nice. You know, I was shooting the other day, yesterday, and uh, the focus puller, you know, the guy on camera who pulls focus, uh, he did my first film, Jism, and he said, John, from then to now. You've absolutely not changed. You're just the same guy who walks in without any entourage, and and I just feel good about it. Not because I feel good about the humility. I just feel good that I've kept my feet on the ground, and I, I'm just very happy about it. Just like I'm happy to see you, and some good people that are left. It feels really, really good, and you're really special. Awesome, and that's true. That's why this quote resonated. So, but how has the past year been for you? I went through your Instagram. It's all about your movies, playing with your dogs, and workout. There has not been this. I need to post something every day. Nothing of that sort. But how yeah. has it been personally and professionally? Um, it's been, to be very honest, it's been a little difficult living with myself, uh, understanding because you know you procrastinate when you start staying with yourself. You start asking questions as to why am I here? What am I doing? How am I contributing? Uh, what's happening with in life? What's happening in my relationships with everyone around? And uh, it's been a little difficult, but it's also been uh, there's been so much of catch up that's been happening. I wouldn't say post COVID because we're still in the COVID phase. Uh, there's been a lot of catch up where films were concerned. So I started shooting from July August, and I've been at it nonstop. Uh, I finished uh, Mumbai Saga. I finished Attack. Uh, I finished Satyamev Jayate. I'm shooting for villain. So I've just been going at it one film after the other. And thankfully, I followed protocol. Uh, I've been safe and I feel good. So also, you know, you had said something that men should age gracefully. You said the Correct. only time that you work for yourself is in the gym. And how you'd also once said that you didn't let anyone touch your lines because those are my experience. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yes. So what is grooming for you and sustainability? I mean, attaching, because now we all have realized the importance of it. Right. I, and I, I'm, I'm saying this on record, the only way you can slow down your aging process, because aging is inevitable, it's going to happen. Uh, the only way you can slow it down is by uh, maintaining a good lifestyle. And by a good lifestyle, I don't mean lifting weights. I mean, just living a good lifestyle. And if you can do that, trust me, you don't need nobody to touch you your skin, your hair, your face, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't need to do tucks. You need to do nothing. If you are a little healthy, be happy about being a little healthy. There's nothing wrong with it. So I say, stay away from people who body shame, stay away from all that, but just lead a very healthy lifestyle. And uh, and I'm happy. I, 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 and I actually, Pooja, I did that. You know, when someone just suggested that, you know, these lines, you need to take them off. I said, no, these lines are me. They're my experience. They're my years. Why would I take them off? I can't, uh, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong. It's a visual medium and I understand why people really jam in Botoxes, but not me. Totally. And also, John, somewhere your personal ideologies impact the kind of roles you choose and films that you want to associate yourself with. Does that impact the actor in you, or the person that you are? Well, very honestly, sometimes yes, but sometimes no. Sometimes I may find a character that is a complete departure from what I am in real life. Uh, or what I stand for, but I find the character interesting. I I have not done it yet, but I may do it. So I just think as an actor, you need to be an artist and you really need to do things you believe in. Of course, uh, I love the Indian tricolor. So a lot of things that I do, I'm obsessed with the Indian tricolor. So you'll see a lot of patriotism just coming out of everywhere. But that's something I enjoy. I'm, I'm a patriot. I'm not a nationalist. I'm not a jingoist. And that, yeah. that's a space I really enjoy. 
And now Mumbai Saga also, it's mills versus malls. Again, sustainability does come there, you know, looking out for other people. You also championed the cause of migrants and refugees. So tell us a bit about that. Excited about your collaboration with Sanjay Gupta again. And back to the movies, theatre. Yeah, excited. We're releasing on the 19th of March. Uh, we're confident. Uh, we want people to come in and watch the film in the theatres. We want people to be responsible. People to follow protocol. So we're not saying just come in in hordes and just watch it, but I'd be very encouraged if people come in because we are the we are the first ones who are taking a very, very, very bold step where a big film is concerned. And a lot of films are going to take a cue from us. And a lot of films have been announced after we made our announcement. So um, they're trying times, they're testing times. Today is Monday. We don't know what's going to happen on Tuesday or Wednesday, whether the cases are going to go up, go down. So uh, it's we but someone has to make a move and we decided to do that. Hmm. And other than that, uh, JA entered, uh, you know, your entertainment company, yeah. you, I mean, special yeah. to, uh, you know, scripts. And you also said that as a producer, I see if I'm required in the film or not. Correct. So what is the way right now with the OTT boom? Do you think things are changing in the industry because, you know, content is available. There's no dearth of talent. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, my next production is with uh, uh, Angira and Harshwardhan Rani. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very interesting slice of life film and that's the next film that I'm doing that we're producing and uh, yeah we're trying to get talent from outside uh, that doesn't necessarily involve me where I come in is I believe I've got an eye for content and uh, I go with my gut on content and I don't allow anybody to get into that space and we make the kind of films we make like you see we made four films they've been very special Vicky Donor, Madras Cafe Bartla House, Parmanu, Now Attack. Every film's been very special and we want to offer films that are very different to our audience. What is, what is the change you want to see in the, in, the, in the industry now going forward? And somewhere you are someone who did not cater to the star system. You did not cater to yeah. the groups and camps and everything. Do you feel there is going to be a change or do you, the star system will get appended and there'll be a space for actors? What is that change? Because you are also a business fan. Correct. No, I think the star system will always exist because uh, whatever said and done, you look at your so-called social media X Y Z. It, it's always star kids and stars, uh, to, you know, trending. So you can't even blame them. I think it's 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 a give and take process. So uh, everybody contributes to this process. Do I have anything against it? No, I have nothing against it. I mean, a doctor's son can become a doctor, so it's fine. I have nothing against it. Um, what I would like to see change, of course, is, is the way we make films. Uh, I want us to make more interesting films. And, and it's nice that OTT has arrived, so we'll see interesting content now. And also, you know, in an industry which is so focused on perfection, I heard your interview where you said, I had my education to bank on if it didn't work out. I had a plan A, plan B, plan C. But there are many who give up even before taking that first step. Through your journey, what is that one advice you want to give to because many look up to you? I would just advise people to educate themselves. You know, education is important, not because you have something on paper. Educate yourself, uh, make yourself aware, know what's happening in the world. And I think as actors, you're not just a model, you're a role model. So for me, it's very important to know what's happening with the Rohingyas. It's very important to know, obviously, what's happening in Myanmar, what's happening in Kerala, what's happening in Bihar, what's happening in Kolkata at this point in time. At the same time, what's happening in Syria or Venezuela, because it's important to be aware. I'm not saying know the nitty gritties of everything, but just be aware. And I feel that's what we lack uh, somewhere. So I just, I just tell my fellow actors, and I've always said this, stop concentrating on trending. Just stop it. Stop it, for heaven's sake. Tell your PR, tell your producers not to show you the trend button and say, hey, you're trending at number two. Stop this crap, you know, and start educating yourself. And I tell the newcomers the same thing. You know, it's nice to look good, but it's nicer to look intelligent. So just educate yourself, be smart, because that will take you places. And women and men find that far more attractive than just the way you look. You, you look this way today, it's going to go tomorrow. It's all transitory. It's Live with it. I know. I remember you telling me you can get as much Botox lifts done if the core is all messed up it ain't working for you. This absolutely. is what you said raw to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I stand by it. Okay. And lastly, now Varun Dhawan said that he loves you so much because you just disconnect with everything once the movie's out. But being in this business, do you think it's easily said that? I mean, can it be done to just detach once it's done, it's done? 
you have to train yourself to to disconnect and i've trained myself uh or i've trained myself over the years and i can do it with ease uh, it's it's over and done it's out move on to the next there's no point uh, crying about anything there's no point you know uh, there's no point basking in your success or sulking in your failure just move on you know it's a job you understand it's a job don't be vain about it you know uh, do your instagram beauty pics i understand but don't be vain about it outside of that you're a product we understand and just move on treat it like a job respect people's time respect people respect audiences who reach out to you uh, you know everybody has a fan moment and that's fine and just have a healthy relationship with your audience true and lastly before i wrap up just two questions what has been your most difficult role yet and favorite character you have played uh my favorite character of course is uh, one of my most favorite characters is k from no smoking uh, i love that character because i'm a big fan of kafka and kafka is kind of cinema so i love the alter ego space etc so i really really enjoy that character um difficult roles i think my most difficult roles have been the roles in the absurdly bad films that i've done where i've just tried to hang in there and make it seem like it's working <laughs> you know so those have been my most difficult roles and if you ask me how many bad films i've done they're innumerable i can't even count so just amazing how you know you've just completely reinvented yourself but you know with the establishment of your company and picking up the roles that you do is just amazing Instead yeah i think i think it makes a difference pooja because when you have the power to have the narrative then uh, you choose better you act better you do better everything around you becomes better and i think with j entertainment you know the, the john abram before my production house and the john abram that happened after my production house are completely two different john abrams you know and i'd like for people to know that and lastly what is john abram's alter ego called both <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just uh, I think my alter ego wants me to believe that I could have been a nicer person, which I'm not really. So I just hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always I battling can, with that complex in my head. Wait, I can we can have an argument on that. Lovely speaking to you. Uh, to you, you good so which is one story you just want should be told. A story that you're waiting to sink your teeth into as a producer and content creator. Ah, uh, not yet chanced upon it. So. i really can't but maybe maybe if i do chance upon that i'll tell you and sustainability your new project because now you've also been somebody who's actively spoken up about when animals were being tested in labs so Correct, now yes. also yes so the sustainability is the key word these days because everybody has been stressing on it so about your uh, collaboration well i think today's uh, youth and i'm sure even uh, your little nephew everybody uh, you know if you ask them they are so much more conscientious about the environment about animals about uh, society etc and they will only pick up products uh, you know that contribute to society and contribute to the planet and ganier has done that very honestly you know uh, ganier has been very uh, has been a leader in innovation and i don't say this because i endorse the brand pooja uh, and i've been the face of this brand for 12 years and trust me you know i endorse brands that i actually use or i believe in it believe in and that resonate with my values and i think our association has been seamless because they just seem to be making the right moves all the time and i'm never embarrassed about a move they made so we're here today uh, we want to build a sustainable planet around us uh, like i said there is no planet b you have one planet you have to make the most of it so by discarding plastic and making sure that plastic is not a part of your process they've been part of the cruelty free program they've not been animal testing since 1989 now these are things that resonate with me completely so i'm really happy to be here and a part of this looking forward to all the very best lovely to meet you thank you very happy seeing you genuinely likewise bye bye, bye. bye.